Joining me now is Tracy Elvino. She's the assistant director of a downstate group called Voices for Seniors. Tracy, thanks for joining us. First, tell us when and why your group was formed. Voices for Seniors was formed in May 2020 by Vivian Zayas and her sister, Alexa. Their mother, Ana Martinez, sadly succumbed to COVID-19 that she caught in a nursing home rehab. The way I became involved in the organization was I read their story in a local paper, and it was identical to the story of my father, who unfortunately lost his life in the same rehabilitation that their mother lost their lives in. And we've grown now to about 5,000 members, and uh, we are looking for justice, accountability, and answers. So tell me, Tracy, your group was no doubt disappointed to hear that the State Assembly Judiciary Committee would not be continuing its investigation into Governor Cuomo's actions in regard to the nursing home deaths. So what was your reaction when you first heard that news? The New York State Judiciary Committee slapped the faces of every grieving nursing home family and of every sexual harassment survivor. It smacks of Albany corruption and deal making. There's no reason why we can't have at the very least a report that's filled with answers since the taxpayers of New York paid $10 million for it. The assembly speaker did say today that uh, he felt that the attorney general's investigation and others that are going forward would bring satisfaction to the families of those who died in nursing homes. Do you disagree with that? It hasn't worked out so far. You know, we've put our hope in the DOJ and that investigation got squashed. Well, we certainly appreciate your sharing uh, your experience with us. Tracy Elvino, she is with Voices for Seniors. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me.